Hey, what's going on? It's Sovereign. Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. So the developers discussion happened recently with MiHoYo. It was a Q&A where they went through a few questions that the community had and they addressed some of those. We got a few sneak peeks of some updates that are coming for 1.4 and uh, a few of them got me pretty excited that they're going to start adding these updates in and changes like quality of life updates and some things to the core mechanics of the game that uh, a lot of people have been asking for for quite a while. So make sure you guys stick around all the way to the end so you don't miss any of those things. And also, if you guys enjoy videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. Helps the algorithm and the channel out a lot and I really appreciate it. All right, so let's jump right into these notes. Starting off by saying, hey travelers, another sizzling developers discussion is here. Come and take a look. All right. Question one. I wonder if we'll get to see the condensed resin cap increase to four in this lifetime. Here's an answer. In version 1.4, the maximum amount of condensed resin that you can have at once will be increased. Yes! This is nice. Uh, I love this change right here. We will discuss this in detail during the version 1.4 sneak peek livestream, which is going to happen within a week to a week and a half. So we're really, we're really close to seeing more of this. I love this. More condensed resin is better. That means more double rewards and more stacking the resin that we don't actually use on the days that we don't really feel like doing anything with our resin. Um, or if you just really don't have anything else to do, maybe you have all your characters that you currently own maxed out. You don't really need to farm or do anything else for them. You're not preparing for any new characters coming out yet. Some people are in their boat. So, you know, they, they want to stack that condensed resin more to get more rewards for when they need to start farming for something new. All right. Question two, I have condensed resin in my inventory, but when I try to enter a domain, the game still tells me that I have insufficient resin. I've ran into this problem before. Um, answer, resin notifications have been improved in 1.4. If you have a condensed resin in your inventory when entering a domain, you will no longer receive a notification having insufficient resin. That's nice to know. Nice quality of life update. Question number three, what's the current maximum adventure rank? Well, we all know this, it's currently 60. Um, in 1.3, the maximum adventure rank is 60. In version 1.4, XS adventure rank XP gained after hitting adventure rank 60 will be converted into Mora. So extra way to get Mora. We don't really know what that exchange rate will be in terms of how many, how much Mora per XP. More to come. I guess we'll find out more at that time that we get the uh, the same time that we're going to get this sneak peek live stream. We'll probably get updates about that. That's nice to know. But look, um, getting to AR 60, I'm at AR 50 now. So like I, I'm not looking to get anywhere near this anytime soon. It'd probably take me three to four months from now to even get to 60. Probably. Who knows? All right, question four. I increased my world level to continue leveling my adventure rate and I regret it. How can I decrease my world level? This is the interesting situation. Some people aren't ready to go to the next world level and they accidentally increase it. Or they go, their adventure rate goes up and automatically it advances their world rank for them, depending on the if you're on one of those lower world ranks. But, um... Yeah, that might be a problem for some people. I can see how that might make the game unplayable or not much fun in the overworld when it, if they're if the enemies are too strong. Um, and the answer for that is we have already created a solution. We will explain our plan for adjustments to all travelers during the version 1.4 sneak peek live stream. So it looks like um, there was speculation or a leak a while back about being able to decrease your world level by one. So I think this is cool for the people that are in that situation that really would help them out. It's a nice quality of life change for them. Question five, can you improve the weapon upgrade system? It took me almost 20 minutes to get my weapon to level 40. The weapon upgrade system is clunky. Uh, they said to give travelers more convenient gaming experience, we will continue to optimize the weapon upgrade system in the future version updates, such as increasing the number of slots for weapon upgrade materials. Cool, but maybe just not have a max let us add as many as possible and then other options like a select all or um like a drag and select just saying things like that might be helpful 
Uh, question six, I can't use the crafting bench in co-op mode. It's very inconvenient. There's a lot of things we can't do in co-op mode and it's kind of sad. This game has great co-op potential, but it's not really being built upon or utilized very well. And look, I'm not just saying that's a complaint about the game. I know that they have limited resources currently at MiHoYo. They're not a huge development team, but I feel like this this game is bringing enough money in for them that they can bring on more staff to develop more. Um, quality of life changes, one. And uh, two, to flush out the game, this base level of a game they have, that's a great foundation. It just needs to be built more. But, uh, we could rant about that in a whole nother video. Um, so improving the crafting bench has consistently been a hot topic and feedback from travelers. We have also been continuously tweaking and optimizing its features. One such feature is the ability to use crafting bench while playing with friends. We will make the crafting bench more convenient for travelers to use in future versions. Please give the dev team some more time. So yeah, they're working on stuff. I'm glad. And like I said, like they're, they're probably a smaller team. Um, and developing isn't something that happens overnight. Question number seven. I really want to save all my birthday mail. Wait, okay. Uh, the answer. We strongly understand travelers desire to save mail from their companions. So a mail favorite system is in the works. Never ran into that issue. I don't. I guess I just don't really pay much attention to the mail system other than grabbing whatever rewards come through the mail. <laughs> Question eight. Let's get a re-challenge button in the Spiral Abyss. Yes, and every domain. A re-challenge eh, for every single thing or a redeploy for everything that we do this over and over. Yes. Uh, answer, we hear you, travelers. We have made improvements to the Spiral Abyss in version 1.4. These will be thoroughly explained during the Sneak Peek live stream. So travelers should remember to tune in. Nice. Yet again, this is just another way to feel like to promote their live stream, which is fine. We're going to get to know more information then, so I will definitely be there paying attention and then letting you guys know what's up after that. Uh, question nine. I want to locate my co-op teammates faster. Yes, I agree. Answer. The ability to quickly locate your teammates is already on our to-do list. We will keep striving to improve Traveler's co-op mode experience. Thank you. You can do it, dev team. I guess this is on the to-do list and they're just saying, hey, dev team, you got this, hurry it up. <laughs> That's what it seemed like. All right, question 10. After Xiao uses his elemental burst, does his elemental skill still generate elemental particles? No, but um, let's go into a longer explanation. The answer for that, ans after Xiao activates Bane of All Evil, his ult using Lemon Static when cycling his E, on enemies will not generate elemental particles so long as he dons his Yaksha mask. It should generate elemental particles under any other circumstance. This situation is similar to Razor's, in which his elemental skill, Claw and Thunder, will not generate elemental particles while his elemental burst is active. Uh, not really new to people that play Xiao, but for those of you that are just still haven't really played it much, there's your answer. If you're using his ult, his E does not generate particles. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. <laughs> I have no problem playing Xiao. So there it is, guys. Uh, quick Q&A. So yeah, it looks like we have the version 1.4 sneak peek live stream to look forward to in the upcoming week or so. So stick around for that. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And also like the video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later.